Hello and welcome back everyone to this overview training on SAP Datasphere on YouTube with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In our last session, we talked about an architecture overview of SAP Datasphere. In our today's session, we are going to discuss the most asked question on my channel regarding what is the difference between SAP Datasphere and SAP Analytics Cloud. Some of you have already taken my SAP Analytics Cloud training. You would want to understand the scope of SAP Datasphere and how this training is different from Analytics Cloud training. We will understand a holistic comparison between these two cloud offerings provided both by SAP and what is each solution is intended for. In our last session, we already discussed an architecture overview. If you have not seen that video, I will patch up the link of the previous videos in the description of this video series. So you can go back and check the previous video. Before we get started, feel free to like, share, subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified for more free videos like this. So SAP understand very, very careful. Both the both products sometimes may confuse you. They may look same, but they have a clear segregation of responsibilities. So SAP data sphere. The purpose is very different is intended for data store, data governance, data security. So if you want to bring data from different different sources and store it together and govern it together centrally, you will use data sphere. Whereas SAC is just a reporting tool with very limited capability for data governance. Of course, you can use the acquired data model in analytics cloud to also store your data, but very limited capability, very limited capability. SAP data sphere. Is built for long term data storage and centralized data management system. So the long term goal or the goal of data sphere is to provide you a large humongous source of data. It's a data warehouse solution. This humongous source of data is stored inside the data sphere. That is the goal of this solution. It's a single source of truth for all your data warehouse requirements. Whereas SAP Analytics Cloud is intended to build dashboards and interactive applications used by end users. Used by end users. So when it comes to data sphere, it is basically if you are looking forward to store data coming from different data sources in your company as a central storage storage solution, you will go with data sphere. Data sphere, of course, gives data to different SAP and non SAP solutions and applications. Analytics Cloud is a consumer of that data. In short, data sphere is the source of data and analytics cloud is the consumer of the data both are seamlessly integrated yet cost you separate subscription fees they do not come free with each other your company have to take conscious decision to take both of them or take one of them up to you yes it doesn't come free data warehouse cloud offers data replication capabilities like etl capabilities but analytics cloud does not offer such a complex etl capabilities so data sphere offers the capability for etl 
complex replication flows but sse do not offer it so sap analytic cloud do not offer that capability whereas sap datasphere offers the etl capability or replication flow capability but sse do not you cannot do replication flow datasphere offers also advanced modeling choices to choose from and categorization of the data but sap analytics cloud do not offer the advanced model what you can just do is create a bi model or create a planning model that's all in analytics cloud but in data sphere you can create wide variety of model you can create analytic model yes different different kinds of models you can create for different purposes and you can also have different categories of data in sap data sphere sap data sphere comparatively have high uses volume and usage of memory as compared to ssc so when it comes to accommodating large volume of data or high volume of data the solution here is to be used is data sphere but as far as analytics cloud is concerned it should be kept with a very minimal memory size however if you do not plan to use data sphere at all in your company the only choice you want to go with the analytics cloud with reporting then in that case analytics cloud would have also more memory uses depends on use case to use case we can integrate both solutions back and forth which means analytics cloud can write data back to data sphere and analytics cloud can read data also from data sphere so both side of connections is possible back and forth connections is possible between both the solutions yes using data sphere we can just preview the data but we cannot build advance data insights like if you want to use geo maps you want to use charts graphs you want to build r logic you cannot do that with data sphere but analytics cloud is predominantly used for data reporting so you can build different data graphs charts different widgets you can use to do the processing sac can also be used to do collaborative enterprise planning cep so you cannot do use data sphere for doing planning but with the help of analytics cloud you can also use planning scenarios like building forecast reports creating uh, creating asymmetric reports different types of reportings you could do with the advanced data modeling so these are the difference major differences between data sphere and analytics cloud remember both are separate products they are not the same products but they are seamlessly can be integrated in the environment of your company all right so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of sap data sphere as usual please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on sap data sphere sap analytics cloud sap btp ui5 fury or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud so do not forget to visit www.anubavtrainings.com also shoot us an email on contact at anubavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of sap with that anubav signing out once again thank you so much and i will see you in my next episode